is it recording? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm talking about um, my beauty space. I've had a lot of requests for uh, me to show how my filming is set up, what I have in my space, and how I decorate, things like that. And so that's what we're doing in today's video. I'm so excited to show this with you and uh, I hope you like it. I have been, I've been putting off this video because I was wanting to decorate it a certain way and then I finally realized, you know, it kept getting pushed back, kept getting pushed back and didn't have a chance to really do it, but I just realized, just going to show you how it is right now. Um, at the very least, if I do something later down the road, this will be kind of like the archive, what it was then, and so I can see the progression on how it changes. And plus, if there's any ideas you guys can use for storage, things like that, decorating your own space, if you're thinking about doing a YouTube channel, then here you go. So this is what you normally see in my videos, just space right here, but, But this is what it really looks like. <laughs> this is the whole space for my YouTube videos. And I've got the ring light right here, so I'm trying to move over to the side. And before we, is that Mia? Yeah. Oh yeah, Mia's with me. And I have Lila here with us too. You'll see her in a second. Yeah, so this is the whole space and we're gonna go into more detail about everything that is included here in just a little bit. And Devin is really getting into showing everything. All right. <laughs> All right. So before we get into things, I want to remind you guys to smash that subscribe button, become part of the Wolf Pack today, and let's get into it. Okay. So we are going to start today's video, the actual tour, with first what I see as I'm filming. So, and and you can tell here, like I film. In the back of Devin's shop like this is the storage area for his if you didn't know he blah, 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 can't talk if you didn't know he repairs computers for a living and this is just kind of like the storage area that he kind of made me a section for in his space and this is my workspace and yeah I'm watching Trisha Paytas her video talking about her boyfriend scared of her I saw that she was showing like she got her stuff back from her ex and I don't know why her story time videos are oddly fascinating to me. I actually enjoy watching them. And um, yeah, I need to get a new Coke. Like, that one's low. <laughs> Alright, so let's just get into it. Um, I don't have the studio lights on because it would make every, like, because they're right up above me here. And there's my ring light. And then there's this. Because it would make everything look really, really weird. So I'm sorry if it's kind of like a yellow color, but it's yellow light. So <laughs> that's what's happening. All right, so first off, this little guy here, ugh, can't figure out where my hand is. This little guy here, this was my very first brush holder. Like the first one where I felt special <laughs> when I really started getting into makeup brushes. I got this from Marshalls a long time ago and I absolutely love it. At one time, it actually used to hold everything in my collection. And yeah, sorry, there's a dirty sponge there. I did a little bit of makeup a little while ago. And there's a mirror my subscriber sent to me. And sorry, it's dirty. I don't know why. I had to clean that thing like every day. And um, yeah, I have a medicine there. I, first off, let me just say, I have been holding off doing this video because I wanted to make sure everything was perfect. But you know what? Life isn't perfect. I'm a real person. So y'all are seeing some of my mess here. And hopefully you don't mind. But yeah, I got these little felt pads here from the Dollar Tree because this tray that I got from Marshall's it actually, every time I move it, it scratches my desk. So I'm going to put those underneath it to fix it. And speaking of, that is my little um, skin mist station. Everything on the left side. Like I have a bottle of Tatcha sort of in the middle. The, the safe zone, I guess you could say. Everything to the left of that is more for makeup. And everything for the right, with the exception of my fresh rose toner. Right here. Hey, Devin. Um, all that is mostly just for skin mist, like for skincare, things like that. And I have a couple of Jeffree Star palettes there because I'm trying to make myself use more of my palettes. And those are the two that I'm focusing on right now. And there is my camera that I use normally for my videos. I'm using my iPhone right now. And I got to clean my counter here in a minute. So that's why I've got the disinfectant wipes. And I have a bottle of Victoria's Secret um, body spray on there. Devin actually got that for me. Yeah, I think it's Love Spell. 
he got that for me it is his absolute favorite and so if I'm trying to get on his good side you know every guy I think has that scent that they really really like on you that one's his <laughs> I don't even know if it's made anymore but it still smells good um, I have a little container there the glass container to hold all of my sponges and on the counter I just have sorry and you can see like this is my phone I'm recording like hi um, the little mirror that I have here, this is from Impressions Vanity. I got it from Marshalls. And I keep a couple of lip products there on top. And I have my floss stuff for my eyes because my eyes get irritated really easy. Got lip scrub and my Clinique Take the Day Off Balm, but I'm still working to finish because I'm almost done with it. Um, these two products I got from my Allure box, the Context Eye, eye cream and the brow pencil right behind it those I'm sending to my mom here are some of my everyday brushes um, just a few that I've been I've been trying to come up with a video for you guys where I talk about my absolute favorite brushes and I'm getting really close I think there's a couple more that I'm trying to use constantly to see if that's what I really like or not and this little <laughs> I keep saying and, sorry, and I think the lighting changed on this. I'm going to try to fix it whenever I go to editing it. This little container here of like the hearts and the stars. Oh, and look at those. Like that's really pretty. I'm trying to make myself use those in some kind of look. I want to incorporate it in my little holder for my cotton pads and, you know, Q-tips, things that you need there. These are just my eye brushes those and I got the container from Marshalls and of course my little vitamins yeah I have a lot of eye brushes and I'm sorry they're mostly dirty I need to clean them but that's what shape they're in at the moment my little wireless keyboard wireless mouse and a keypad not a keypad a mouse pad that I've had for literally Dev and I have been together eight years I've had that same mouse pad that long <laughs> I've washed it so many times if you didn't know that, you could wash your mouse pad. All right, so, and I've got a little random things down there. I love going to Marshalls for like the little notebooks and things. And here, whenever you buy the kits from Benefit that have the different products in it, this is what they come in, and it's a real nice tin. And let's see if I can get it open. I just keep random things in here, um, lash glue, those little foam things really random in here clippers stuff I don't really go to that often but things I want to keep in one place and so I like to repurpose packaging and I thought this was a good opportunity to use that because that's really cute you guys are going to see everything I'm going to show you so many things I'm not going to go too in depth on the products because I don't think that's this type of video but as far as my setup and what's here yeah, medicine. Sorry, I'm not feeling good. I've I've got a sinus infection right now, an ear infection that I'm working to get over. This is my drunk my junk drawer. There is so much stuff in there. Like these little invisibobbles, I love those things. Um, like candles, tape for my eyes. And I know that sounds weird <laughs> for your eyeshadow. Just a bunch of randomness. The other side. Let me come back over here not hopefully not spill my drink and yeah I need to floss I was getting ready to do that here just a second ago okay these are all of my pencil eyeliners I haven't done a declutter yet so a lot of these I know have to go so pencil eyeliner some things I haven't even opened um, brow stuff in this section and then these are my liquid liners, felt liners, the pots, um, brow products like the dip brow and that Bang Beauty. I know that one's going. That one's bad. But that's everything that's in this drawer. Continuing. <laughs> I'm really showing you guys everything. This is for all of my powders like setting powders, bronzers, contour, face palettes like this guy here. Awesome. I really do just have random stuff in here like 
that's the only thing I hate about these Alex drawers is that the drawers don't come all the way out and they're really annoying. So if you're thinking about buying them, just keep that in mind if you're interested. Yeah. Uh, random Band-Aid. <laughs> oh, Devin could have used that earlier. He was actually, he cut himself a little while ago. And this is my blush drawer. A few things I haven't used yet. And a few things I have. And I'm sorry, guys. This is going to be a long video because I'm really going to show you everything. This drawer. Okay. This drawer gets used a lot. Um, I use, I keep my supplies for cleaning my face, cleaning my brushes, little headbands. Oh, and I'm getting ready to do a video on this, the Derma Roller from Jen Ember Beauty. And I have random things here. And I have this wash uh, from NXN. They have a monthly subscription where you can get refills and what you need. This one is really good for a morning wash. And if you have acne prone skin, they're really, really good. Um, I'm going to talk about them a little bit more in a future video. But just check it out. If you haven't done it, it's really affordable. I think it's like $30 a month and it'll give you a whole kit. And I've got some tanner in there. Not that I use it, but I have it. Okay, and this drawer is just really, really random. More medicine, more different things like that. And this, this is so weird. Like, I got this at a Comic-Con. It's supposed to put it over your face, but this is so funny when you're wearing it. Oh my gosh, you just don't know. I've got that one. And I've got a little panda bear one. And I've got some more swag from Facebook. I do social media at work, and a lot of times, and like, this is from Instagram, um, a lot of times they send us just random things, kind of like to promote their social media platform, which is a weird thing to do. This drawer is mostly my hair care stuff. More random. Have a bunch of hair clips, hair ties, and that. That's a boring drawer. Now, continuing... All right, over here. Let me tell you a story about this. First off, the earth. So where I actually film at Devon's shop, it used to be a few other different businesses. And the first one was Star Games. They put this mural up a long time ago. And like, I don't even know how long it's been since they've been around. But I didn't want to damage it whenever I came in because it's kind of like a, a historical thing in here. So I left it up the way it is, and then on the wall behind me, this is removable wallpaper. I got this for $19 a roll, and yes, it looks all jacked up there at the top, and I can't help that, and the painters did that. I didn't do that. It looks all jacked up because I didn't realize whenever I was cutting it that you have to match the pattern. I'm so stupid. You have to match the pattern, and so for order, in order for me to line it up like it should have been, it ended up being all weird like this, and I just never felt like going back and cutting it. You know, I just, I just left it like it is. Um, you know, it was a learning lesson. And these boxes here, and there's my little sad trash can, and my little boxy charm bag over there hiding out like a creeper. Um, these boxes here, I don't ever talk about much on my channel, but I actually collect anime. Um, figures, books, movies, things like that. These boxes here, and there's six of them, it's all anime figures. Whenever we moved out of our, um, uh, can't remember, we moved, oh, when we left his old shop, I had it there. When we left his old shop, I didn't, you know, we had to find a place for them, and I couldn't put them in the storage unit because they have to be in a temperature-controlled environment, so I brought them here, and I'm just using them as a table for now, and this is just a cloth from Walmart that I got. And first off, sorry, sorry, that is my chair. <laughs> Uh, first off, it's this beautiful plant. I'm so happy to have that. It is actually a money tree. And I just got that planter from Marshall's. I just got it like the other day. And those are old. I haven't repotted it yet. I just sat it in there to see what it would look like in case I didn't like it. I could redo it. But this is a money tree. And interesting fact. Money trees. Did you know it was good luck if you had a, a branch that had six leaves on it? Like, if you look at it, and it's, it almost looks like a pot leaf, okay, but it's not. Um, most of them have five on them. But, let me see if I can find it. Yeah, like, that one's 
five. That one's five. This tree is the only one that I've had that hasn't died. Like I've had two of these and they both bit the dirt. But I have to show you, there is luck on this one, like right there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six leaves. This thing actually has a handful of them that have six leaves on it. So I take that as a symbol of good luck. Here is my computer that is hiding behind it. I love plants. If I could decorate a room, my own room, it would be just a room full of plants and makeup. <laughs> that is my decor. But that computer, sorry, let me just move this out of the way just for a second. Okay, so there is my computer that I used to edit my videos and everything. It's actually a gaming computer, which if you're gonna be using different programs, you need something a little bit stronger. And that's the one that Devin set up for me. I'm actually going to be trading out the case. I have something coming that is super, super sleek and sexy. Yes, computers can be sexy. <laughs> if any of your boyfriends or any of you guys out there like computers and things like that, they know what I'm talking about. But I'm going to swap this out for a new case. It's going to be, it's almost going to look like a diamond. It's going to be so pretty. I can't wait. Hopefully I get it soon before this video goes live. If not, I'll give you guys an update when it gets here. Oh, and this light here, this is an adorable light. And this, Devin got this for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Yeah, love it. Okay, continuing on, um, I got that from FabFitFun a while ago, and I love it. The box that it's um, the box underneath it, that's actually where I keep the letters from you guys whenever you send me anything. That is my little box of memories. I'm hoping to, you know, it's one of those things where if you're having a bad day, you can go back to it and you can read it, and it's just, it just makes my heart happy having them. And these are the x-rays from Lila's. Um, where we took her to the vet and we found out well we didn't find out what was wrong with her but we got some information about her but that's not what i wanted to show you i wanted to show you this little calendar that i got from big lots that is so cute i only paid four for it because it was half off but this thing is so cute i love it yeah i need to actually start using it <laughs> random things and some random things here and this is just some stuff that I've been collecting I'm getting ready to do an empties video so I'm kind of rounding up stuff that is almost completely out and is out and then these two things are pretty much just here for nostalgia at this point I'm not gonna be able to use them they don't serve their purpose and here is where I tried to repurpose a boxy charm box for all my hair care stuff I have a few things that I bought the full size but the rest of it come in uh, come from subscription boxes so I've been putting it here so I can kind of keep track of it and try things out. And you guys, I take so much skincare, makeup, and hair stuff back and forth between the house and here. It's crazy, I know. Moving on. Oh, and I have this here. It's got the little ribbon pieces on it. I got this at the Renaissance Festival a few years back whenever Devin and I went. And I'm wanting to use it in a video or Instagram picture, something. I don't want it to go to waste because I really like it. Okay, over here, you've seen my, I actually got this at Walgreens for a dollar. This one is from Marshalls, I think it was $8, and have a little nail polish organizer hiding back there. This tray is from Hobby Lobby, and these are just some of my more frequently used items here. And there is another, uh, the water bottle is more swag from Twitter. Uh, I, I love water bottles. And over here is some of my lipstick collection. Ugh, can't talk. And over here is some of my lipstick collection. Um, mostly liquid lipsticks, glosses. Like, this is all liquid lipstick. This is all glosses. And these are like the minis here. And my Jeffree Star and a few random things in there. A couple of Fenty products. A couple of lip scrubs. You may recognize those from the Charm Room at BoxyCharm. And... And these two shelves 
I actually got those both from Hobby Lobby. Again, got those a half off, and as well as that plant that I have, the eucalyptus branch, that's from Hobby Lobby. The hanger, and yeah, I'm using a, a thumbtack to hold it up on the wall. Um, the hanger is from Target. Love that. And I have a new piece of art over here. That one, Choose Your Weapon, I just got that at Marshall's not too long ago, and you can see the price tag is still on it because I'm trying to decide if I like it and if I want to keep it there. But doesn't that makeup, like the brushes, look like the Luxie brushes? It looks dead on. And there is a really, really good close-up of my wallpaper. Like, you can see the seam right there down the center. It took so much work getting that lined up. Oh, and I forgot to even show you guys while I was over here. You probably want to see some more of my makeup. So, this top drawer is probably one of the most exciting. This is all highlighters. Yes, so much. And I've got stuff in the back there, too. Again, I hate that none of their stuff comes out all the way. It drives me crazy. But that is my highlighter collection. I actually did a video going through all my pieces, um, showing you some of my favorites. I may do another video where I rank my highlighters for you if you want to see that. This is my complexion drawer. I have got concealers, foundations, primers and a bunch of littles there um, different things that I'm trying out little testers you know I got this I still haven't used it I need to I heard really good things about this wait yeah I have I got a sample from Sephora I do like it um, you have to be careful though um, sometimes if you put too much it can like peel up under your foundation and I have many drawers of eyeshadow palettes. <laughs> this is just the first one. Yeah. I love these drawers. And I, I separate them out like this because I wanted to be able to see my actual collection. And if I'm having to flip through everything or if I'm having to dig out an eyeshadow palette, it's less likely that I'll ever get used. Like if it gets buried, good luck. Like I have some in the back there. I don't even know if you can see them, but they're like my least used palettes. It's like been banished back there and I don't like that. Here is another drawer and I've got a few different ones in here. Um, Pure sent me a bunch of eyeshadow palettes, um, a bunch of different things so I haven't had a chance to really play with them yet. Got some singles back there. More eyeshadow palettes. Um, the good Jaclyn Hill palette, James Charles palette. I'm still on the fence about this one. And a few others back there hiding. Um, comment, comment below if you recognize any of these palettes or if you want to do tutorials or if you want me to do tutorials with them. Comment down below what you think. And the last drawer, there's some more palettes in there and seriously just some empty boxes because I have a weird thing about boxes. Just, these really don't get used that much. I need to figure out what to do with them or they're going to all get decluttered. I need to do a declutter, I think. And that drawer won't close all the way because I think one of those boxes went behind it. So I have to pull, I have to unscrew that drawer and get it out and fix it. Okay, now here beside that is, oh, and if you didn't notice, look at that shiny. Look at that trash can. I just got that at Target. Whenever I went with my friend shopping, that was the one thing I bought, and I'm so happy that I did. Everyone needs a hollow trash can in their life. I'm just saying. Like, that is beautiful. This camera can't do it justice. Um, these are PR packages that I've been getting. Um, some things sent to me. I am a small channel, so I don't really get that much. It's, which is fine, you know. I'm not, on a, I'm not able to buy anything at the moment, so I'm really appreciative of everything that I do get. I'm planning on doing a video where I talk about how to get free makeup. Um, one for like people who aren't influencers, people who aren't on YouTube, and then one is for people who are on YouTube. So I'm going to do that video really, really soon, hopefully, and I hope you guys like that. There's going to be a lot of information in it. But this big one is the one I'm most excited about because this one's from Tarte. They sent me the a whole collection of some. I'm, I'm, I'll show you later. There will definitely be a video on that. This box is this one is makeup that I haven't used yet things that I have bought like from the Sephora haul 
I didn't want to get it separated or I didn't want to get mixed in with things that I, that I already messed with because I want to do like a first impressions. So that's why this, they're kind of, they're kind of banished at the moment. They're not allowed to go home with the rest of my makeup just yet. But I'm getting ready to do some first impression videos and get those filmed so I can get this stuff put away because honestly, it's driving me crazy. It's sitting there. Okay. And here I have a bag. Hey, Lila. Hey, baby. Yes, she's doing good. Like, she can walk, guys. Like, the her legs getting crossed has been improving so much. They don't really do it anymore. But she still walks kind of funny, but she's getting better. This bag is because I'm getting ready to do a haul from Torrid. Um, kind of like a plus-size try-on. Any of you um, guys want to know more about the clothes that I wear? And you'll see, like, right here. I keep my clothes here. <laughs> Um, the ones that, if you ever wonder if I wear the same things over and over, it's because I do. I keep some of my favorite clothes here just for filming because of this girl right here. She has so much hair. Mia. Hey, baby. Hey, pretty girl. <gasps> you see her shake that tail? Oh, hey, sweet face. Hey, sweetie. Yeah, because this girl right here, she sheds like crazy and her hair gets all over the place. She's so sweet though. Um, we took so much time trying to take care of her today. She has so much hair. Ah, and little Lila, she's low maintenance. She doesn't really do much. She's like, did you say my name again? Yeah. But yeah, I keep my clothes here so that they don't get messed up because also Mia, when she gets excited, she jumps up on me and she will actually destroy some of my clothes. So I keep them here so they're safe. And that's Lila's bed. And this is a box of things I've been collecting that are up are for giveaways. There's a few things that are active right now. And also, guys, I want to remind you guys, please check your DMs on Instagram. The Pat McGrath palette, I've contacted two people and no one's responding to me. So I don't know if, I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna. I'm waiting for a response for one more person. If not, I'm gonna draw another person. It's kind of frustrating <clears throat> because I want someone to enjoy it. Because I have one of my own. I want someone to enjoy that, and I hope they'll like it. And there's a bunch of goodies in there I need to give away. And yeah, that is Wayne's World hiding over there in the corner. Um, my dad he collects movie memorabilia, and whenever he was going through things trying to decide what to get rid of, he came across that one, and I'm like, oh my gosh, don't throw that away, I need that. I will do something with it eventually, but for now it's just hanging out back there. Alright, now back to what you guys actually see behind me in the videos. So, more of my lipsticks, and there's some there that I haven't had a chance to mess with. This little container right here, every time I go to Sephora, I get a sample of perfume because I can't, I can't afford the perfume, or maybe... It's because I don't really know exactly what scent I like. So I get a bunch of samples to try them out because I don't want to spend $100 on a perfume and then turn out I hate it. I'm just, I don't want to do that, you know? So I got a bunch of different samples that I'm trying out at the moment. And I like this holder here. It's like a tower. But anyways, I have a bunch in here. Like, a lot. I need to work on. Like, I've got a Tom Ford in here. Tom Ford. I'll never buy that. It looks like that's expensive. And here is a collection. Okay, this is probably the most expensive thing I have in my collection. And it's from ColourPop. It is a Super Shock Shadow Vault. I'm going to see if I can show you guys. Yeah. Like, oh, I love those. I use these all the time. I think this is probably one of my favorite purchases, even though it's the most expensive. I've gotten the most use out of, and I've used so many of these shadows. They're so pretty. If you get a chance to get those, I really recommend it. And I have a candle from Bed Bath & Beyond. I love this one, and Devin's in love with vanilla scents, so this one's for him mostly. <laughs> This one I got from Marshalls, like a $3, $4 candle. Love, I love going to them for candles too. And this candlestick, or candle, yeah, candlestick. I guess that's what you call it. It is silver, and I need a new candle on top. Um, it is silver, and that real pretty blue cobalt in here. This is actually the third one I've bought. I had a pair, and we had a cat at one time, and she just went through a phase where she wanted to break everything in our house. And she broke all the glass that was inside it. So I've been lucky enough to come across it at like 
Goodwill thrift stores, things like that. And I buy every time I find them because I think they're just so pretty. I love how, how ornate and detailed it is. And this is a dish that one of my subscribers sent me. Um, uh, Mandy, thank you so much. Yeah, she sent that to me and I love it. And then this is my brush holder. These are some that I'm working through. Some of these I do really like and others I'm testing out. I, okay guys, I know I have a lot of brushes, but mostly these have all been sent to me in subscription boxes or from a brand. So, I mean, I'm not spending hundreds of dollars on brushes. But the holder that they're in, I got this from Hobby Lobby. I think it was $7, I think. I love it. It's so insanely pretty. And this flower arrangement is, I love fake flowers. Because, you know, I have a hard time keeping them alive. Except for that guy over there. He's doing so good. But this one, I've had this for forever. I always take it with me from place to place because it's just my favorite. I got it from Marshall's. And this fake orchid is from Ikea. And the flower pot that it's in is from Marshall's. I love texture. I love warmth. Or maybe not warmth. I just like texture. I love the texture of these planters. And this beauty. Oh, I love this mirror. This is from Hobby Lobby also. I think it retails for $70. But a lot of times you can get them on sale for half off. Whenever they're doing. They have a sale every week. Like half the store one week, the other half the next week. Just wait for it when it's on sale. It'll come up really, really soon. Now, we don't have too much more to show. Oh, I forgot to show you what was in the actual drawers. This is where I keep all of my mascara and my lashes. All of that there. And yes, I know I need to do a declutter. This is where I keep all of my glitters. And I got a bunch of these from Violet Boss. I got all of these for, I think, $50. It was such a good deal. I was so happy to get these. And some more ColourPop. My Hank and Henry collection. My Stila, like, Glitter and Glow, Liquid and or Shimmer and Glow. I want every one of those in that collection. I love those so much. Then, over here, I just have some random things, like... Whenever I've moved filming spaces, I've kind of brought all my stuff with me. And that's what this is. Things that I've boxed up over the time. And yeah, if you're wondering what camera I use, there you go. Like, this shelving here I had on the wall. That shelving I had on the wall. And shelf liner. I need to do something with this. Whenever, I had a thing in plan for this whole section over here. But it fell through. It's okay. Um, let me move her bed. Okay. Now, all right, you guys, if you've caught my live videos, you've probably already seen this, but I want to show it to you again. I think that one thing to kind of help curb your need to shop for new stuff is to display it in a way that it feels like you're shopping for it. And so this is what I've done with my skincare, and I have more lipsticks there too. But yeah, I've kind of displayed it in a way, and also, I just did this the other day. yeah it's kind of hard to tell on camera but in person it makes everything light up so well and then you can see it really nice but i've got it on that shelf too yeah just a little extra bonus there i'll go more into detail on all the products that i have here and when i think about them but i just want to tell you guys again i haven't spent a fortune on this this is stuff that's come to me in subscription boxes things that a few things were sent to me from brands and I mean, a few pieces I did buy, but, and a lot of things aren't open. I have a few things that I'm rotating and other things I'm kind of keeping behind as a backup, you know? And also my mom likes to come over and raid my skincare. So <laughs> part of this is for her. But yeah, so this is just what I have going on here. And in here, those are just a bunch of those little sample packs that get sent to you. I don't really know what to do with them. So I've been keeping them there. This is full of sheet masks. Like, I need to show you guys. Like, here too. You can kind of see all the little samples. I'm going to go through them and do something with these at some point. Okay, I lied. There's other stuff in there too. This is my backup of my uh, face stuff from NXN.
But yeah, I just got a bunch of sheet masks in there. Um, whenever, I have to be in the mood for sheet masks, but whenever I do feel like it, I have them here. And then also when my friends come over, I give them a few. And it's starting to rain, so I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. Okay, this section here is for all of the littles that I've been getting from Ipsy, Sephora, Allure. I've been kind of sticking them in here in these containers because these are what you can find at a lot of places and they're really too small to put much in them, but they work perfect for littles. And I need, I'm trying to sort them and organize them and have them labeled to what each one does. Like I know for sure these are just moisturizers, these are masks, things like that. Um, serums, moisturizers, depending on what I'm doing. And then up here is a piece that was given to us from a friend. I'm saving it for when we have our house done. I'm either going to use it to put on the coffee table or to put on the mantle. And then there is my anime. <laughs> um, I love anime. Um, Attack on Titan, SAO, and R2-D2. I built that. I built that little thing that I got from a Loot Crate box. And yeah, that's everything there. And then we're back to the clothes. This actually started out as being Devin's thing that he kept for his work shirts here. But then I, when I realized I could keep my nice stuff here too. And I keep fabrics here also for backgrounds whenever I used to do that. So I started bringing those here. I need to show you guys. And these are some things also from the old shop that he had. And like I've got my lights there. Whenever I had my light set up or my setup at his last shop, I had a bunch of lights hanging up in the background. All this stuff is in here and a bunch of old Sephora bags. I don't know why I'm hoarding them. I gotta recycle them. But that is everything, guys. That is my filming space. What do you guys think? And, you know, I'm just like you. Things that you see on YouTube are edited. You're not seeing everything. So I figured it would kind of help if you guys could see everything that I have and get a better feel for who I am. And I'm going to do more in-depth videos coming up soon. But make sure you are subscribed to my channel. I would love to have you join the Wolf Pack today. And I love you guys. And I love Mia too. Mia! Yes, we love you, pretty girl. And Lila! Little girl. Baby! Lila! Oh, Mia's getting upset because it's storming right now. She's, she's really, really nervous. Alright guys, I love you so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!